bad bitch say she ready right now. Right now, right now, right now. I'm in the foreign and that bitch pipe down. Skirt, 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 skirt. I see tomorrow, so I'm grinding right now. Hey, what's going on, man? It's your girl, Tampa Mystic, and we are live on the Industries Most Wanted podcast. Big Industries Most Wanted. Industries. Hey, like that. Straight like that. We got Ray the Banks checking in. What's hey, good, bro? Hey, man, look. She said my name right the first time. <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing all the way here because I'm thinking the dude... You know, say cool peoples or whatever, but I'm used to it. You know, when I go to different places, they mess up my name. Well, dude, they be calling yeah, you, dude. Dude was calling. I'm trying to say it, but I can't even say. It. I guess it was on some New York shit. Yeah, but you know, like I say, big big ups to him though. You know what I'm saying? His event, it was a cool, cool. You know what I'm saying? Thing to be a part of. But I think dude was like saying Radio Banks. Oh no, nah. <laughs> Radio Banks. Nah, we yeah. gonna get it right yeah. over here. <laughs> yeah, I ain't even had to tell you, so that's cool. I respect that. I appreciate that. <laughs> of course, give me yeah. some love, yes, bro. Sir. You know yes, what I'm sir. saying? You brought all that positive energy yeah. in the building. Like as soon as you walked in, you came with them positive vibes. Right. I love Appreciate that. It. Appreciate Shout it. out to you, bro. Yeah. Give us that official introduction. Yeah, man. You know, I go by Raider Banks, R-A-I-D-A-B-A-N-K-Z. You can find me on Instagram, just like I said my name, R-A-I-D-A-B-A-N-K-Z. You know what I'm saying? Checking in from Waco, Texas. Actually, right now I stay in Dallas, but I'm from Waco. You know what I'm saying? I'm that, all over. That's dope. My next guest uh, is from Texas. Tri- oh, for real? Shout out to Trilly Polk. He out there oh, yeah. He had an H time, right? Yeah. yeah. I, he I coming right him. after you. Yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah. He had an H time. Yeah. <laughs> that's dope. Listen, yeah. Texas is really on the map, man. Right. It's an open market right now in Texas. That's why I was telling people in New York. Yeah. I was like, man, right now with that music shit in Texas, because it's a, it's, a, it's a lot of independent record labels and artists in texas yes that's trying to push you absolutely know, to, to that to that point and uh i know it's a handful full of people from my city that then got record deals and recognition from Man. major labels you you know, you, you, you you the next one hey i'm feeling like it you, you know next what i'm saying in line. like you no right sleep. there yeah. I mean, straight close. like that close. <laughs> <laughs> we crossed path a few years back Bet. you know yeah, what i'm saying sure, sure. you've been out here working been on your grind um where did you grow up did you grow up in wake uh yeah i was born in virginia actually you know that's my birthplace uh man i, I like my family wasn't uh in the military but i my, was just gonna ask yeah, you that yeah, that's like, the first family, thing i like, thought my grandfather he he was he was in the army he retired uh but you know my grandmother uh partially practically raised me from you know from birth up yeah. until like my teenage years then i started staying with my mom but it was like back and forth with that yeah um but yeah i was born in virginia okay um i grew up some in north carolina and uh texas we moved to texas back in like what 95 96 okay <laughs> on account of that because i burnt the house down when i was like four <laughs> you know what i'm saying what? so yeah i burnt the house down so <laughs> it really kind of pushed us back towards the south you know what i'm Zang. saying so yeah we stayed we stayed in waco for a good minute a hot minute i think up until about 2000 2001 then i started staying with my mom and we moved to san antonio you know so that's where my uh my grandfather was uh stationed Got at, you. At, uh san antonio so we was down there with my family my uncles my auntie uh but i stayed a, I, was, I stayed a while in north carolina when i went back with my grandmother which house um, did you burn down what state man it was in virginia yeah, we would probably be, we would probably still be there to this day because everything we had was paid off. You know what I'm saying? Man, yeah, I, it's not yeah. funny, but I laughed it a little funny. bit yeah, yeah. because my son almost did the same thing. Yeah. He was at my mom's house. She used to watch him from yeah. me when he was little, and I went to work, and he caught her living room like on fire. Like he, I, yeah, and he was yeah. probably around your yeah, same yeah, age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like these boys. Yeah, it's they be crazy. Yeah, because my grandma she was permanent her her hair at the moment. You know, I'm in the room playing with matches. And she, she's blaming it on Beavis and Butthead, but I, you know, back then, I don't know. I was, uh, yeah, you know, I was just trying to experiment and uh, threw a match into a box spring. No. <laughs> we stayed in the trailer. It was like a trailer. Yeah. So it just went up in flames. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Well, you know what? But yeah. thankfully, everybody's okay. Safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's the, the biggest yeah, part. Right. So you spent most of your time then, it sounds like a lot of it in Texas. Right, right. What was that like for you out there? Because, you know, we were just talking, you know, Texas has so much talent within this uh, music business. You know, like currently right now or just like growing up, up out there. Yeah. Uh, coming up. I mean, uh, as an artist or just as an individual. Person? As, yeah. Just, you know, before music became uh, your passion, you know, tell us tell us about life out there. Really, pretty much. Uh, music has always been my, my passion. But um, 
you know, just life in Texas, uh, man, it's a, it's a different thing. You know, yeah. when you go anywhere, uh, people, you know, people can relate because they, they like what, what the culture is out there. Yeah. So the culture is pretty good. I mean, down south. Um, just growing up in Texas, uh, pretty dope. It's a lot of stuff to do. You know what I'm saying? There's people from all over, everywhere. You know, shh, we got all kind of dialect. You know, uh, it's, re- it's real diverse. Depending on what city you go to, like you can go to Austin, you know, they're going to have a lot of Asian people, a lot of Hispanics, a lot of African Americans. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to make sure I say it the right way, not just by race, you know. Understood. You know, I don't yes. want people to take so, offense to it. Some people get yeah. offended, yeah. 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 So, I mean, it just depends on where you go. You go to Ace Time, you're going to see a lot of black people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, you go to Dallas, you're going to see a lot of black folks, you're going to see a lot of white folks. Yeah. Um, but predominantly growing up in Waco, uh, I graduated from on, on the South Side University High School. Uh, sh- if I'm not mistaken, man, it was only like two white people in school. For real? Yeah, I swear to God. <laughs> Everybody was black and Mexican. You know, anybody on the South Side, they they if they went to school with us and um, they Mexican, they act black. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, just about everybody in Waco, they going to act black. Yeah. Even if they white. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They Mexican, Chinese. If you stay in the inner city of Waco, you going to act black. Culturally, you know, that's where yeah. they grew up. That's yeah. what that's they're how, used yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Absolutely. I mean, yeah. So, but, I mean, it's great, though. You know, I love Texas. Um, believe it or not, I don't think I, I ever leave. Even if I take off my music or any type of business, I think I would still stay in Texas. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Texas establish myself. definitely got a lot of opportunity out there. Right, right. Facts. Man, there's so many artists that are, like, really coming out of Texas. Right, right, right. You know, like, too many to name. But we right. know there's so right, many right, dope right. talent out there. Um, when did you start having an interest in music? Uh, Just seriously. I mean, I started having an interest in music back early 2000 you know like i said we moved around a lot so we was always in the car yeah you know this was around the time before we even had social media and you know right anything like that i was playing game boy color in the back seat you know what i'm saying <laughs> on the way from uh north carolina to texas you know what i'm saying 16 17 hour drive you know i need something to do pen and paper you know what i'm saying and you know i started i started uh i think the real the one of the real first artists that really influenced me was like Nelly hearing him on the radio. Let's around, talk about yeah, that. Because around that time, he was like one of the biggest rap artists out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when he dropped, what was that, Country Grammar? Yeah. Was that the CD? Yeah. The name? Yeah. Yep. He dropped that. So everybody was banging that. And, you know, it was like, damn, everybody want to be like this rapper, this rap star. Absolutely. You know? and, and Nelly. And Cash Money was hard too. So, right. You know, so, exactly. Yeah. Big influences. You know, Nelly mm-hmm. is, what I love about him is he's still relevant to right, this right, day right, right. because he made himself so marketable. Right. He put out so many different types of music. Yes, You man. know what I'm saying? Kind of transitioning into a little bit of country and, you know, right. stuff. You know, like he, and that's what makes an artist have longevity in right, this right, business. Right, right, right. And you're not the first person that's told me that Nelly yeah. had an influence yeah. on them. Yeah. Of course, Cash Money. Right, right. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, we were just talking about, uh, shout out to my dog, Hot Boy Turk. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, we was, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah we were yeah, just yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. him. You know, he and I have become really good friends over the years. And it's just Damn. dope to see people that were, you know, at their prime maybe 20 years ago Facts. that are still it's doing still it popping, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. the goal. Yes, ma'am. So about what age did you start, like, recording music? Uh, I think I started recording music back in ninth grade, so I was, like, 15. Okay. Uh, but I always tried to find a way. Uh, I actually, like, on the real uh, recording uh, DAW, you know, program, it yeah. was, like, 14, 15. But I used to have a tape recorder, and I was recording over the poison tape. You know, I was, you know, you could press the tape recorder, put the tape in, record over the mix. I yeah. already know. Yeah, yeah, so I was recording over the poison. <laughs> I'll be listening to that shit. Man, I ain't trying to hear that shit no more. I'm recording my own shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so uh, it was, I was probably like 12, 11, 12. This was in middle school. So yeah. was your mom and your family on board with you doing music? Be, uh, be honest with this. Yeah, yeah, they was. You know what I'm saying? They was, but I don't, I don't think they really started taking me serious until now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I've been serious for a few years, uh, almost 10 years now. But, you know, they was always like, okay, yeah, you're going to be a rapper. You're right. going to be a rapper. You want to be a rapper. Da, 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 da. But it took me to actually go out here and make, make it known that I, this is what I want to do. This is my goal for my life. You Absolutely. Know Especially yeah. now that they see you moving around. Right. Not just like your city, but you're moving yeah. from city to city, state to state. Facts. And I've been doing this for a long time. You know, I'm not even trying to be like 
cocky about it or nothing, but I've been doing it for a minute. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So out of all the places that you've touched, you just talked how you went to New York recently. Right. You're out here in Atlanta, and right. I'm sure there's been other places. Out of all those spots, which one was the most receiving to you and your music? Uh, Let me see. I mean, I didn't because I didn't been just about every major city in Texas. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would say, uh, I mean, the last time I came to Atlanta, it was pretty straight. I mean, anytime I go somewhere, people always connect with me. Yeah. And like nine times out of ten, I'd be like the only person from Texas in the building. Yeah. You know, so um, I, I would I would say I would say. Uh, well, I just went since I just went to New York. I had a big good turnout over there. A lot of people, you know, That's try amazing. to try to network and follow me. And I can honestly say, I I would have to say New York because they it was more the 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 culture for their music and what they had going on. It's probably like one of the best. Uh, I guess you could say. Uh, let me see, um, Unity. Unity as a show, you know, yeah. I, I ever seen. Yeah, Unity artists supporting artists. So I would have to say New York. Man, that's yeah. dope. And that was my first time going this week. You know what I'm saying? And people would follow me. You know, went to the studio. <laughs> they, they trying to see what I'm doing. That's yeah, so, so dope. Yeah. And I think that, it, you know, a lot of people now in the music business, no matter where they're from, are now understanding that they can reach out and collab with people from right. other cities. Like, right. if you're from New York, you don't have to just work right, with New right, York right. artists. Or if you're from Atlanta, not just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now if you collab with one of those New York artists. I don't people going to be following you. Yeah, right. their family are going to tap in right. with you and vice versa right, right, it just right. makes sense yes ma'am it do that's you know, what it's all about absolutely really. you yeah. know to network your network is your net worth right, you right. know what i'm Fact. saying Big most facts. definitely um what was the first full project you put out whether it was a mixtape album or ep um i haven't even actually to tell you the truth i haven't put out a solo project yet okay but when i was in high school i did uh do um you know a joint project with someone yeah. that i was doing music with and that was back in high school. But. So you're focusing on singles. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Man, focus on singles. You're, yeah. I think that's the way to go because right. right now we're very much in like a single era. Right, right, where right. Where you can just consistently pe put no singles yeah. out. Yeah, and people going to listen to them. Absolutely. They don't like it. They don't like it. If they don't, you know, if they do, they going to jam. If it's trash, they just ain't going to fuck with it. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? So, What's your creative process? Like, you know, if you do you set in your mind ahead of time, I'm going to be in work mode zoning in and doing music or is it just when you catch a feeling you get in the studio and go how does it come together uh as far as just recording yeah um you know lately you know since i'll be on the, i'll be on the go so much um i'll be on the go so much you know working and stuff like that if i got if i got, if i find a track that i like i just listen to that track yeah and i just you know put the lyrics in my head yeah. you know what i'm saying i can put a whole verse in my head without writing it yeah you know or pretty much 85 percent of the verse is gonna be in my head before i actually write the song right down. there you go so you know uh my, my creative process with it is just finding a, a dope track that i can relate to i gotta really feel the vibe you know i have to it has to be mind body and soul with me <laughs> you know if i ain't feeling it, i ain't gonna rap on it nah, for real. you know what i'm saying so i mean uh the process with me is just just finding the track first or sometime I might just have words in my head. Yeah. You know, I was on a plane. I woke up. I don't know. For some reason, I, <laughs> so I, when I woke up, I was like, it was fucking uh, lyrics coming through my head. I was like, man, I've been on some weird shit. You so, eat, yeah, sleep, yeah, yeah. all day. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, um, the, the process with me, though, you know, I, I find the track. You know, if I if I have time, if it's in the, if we in the studio, if I'm in the studio, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to write to it right there. Yeah. You know, I, it's been a few times uh, this year where I did, I did that, you know, uh, Took a track. Matter of fact, I do have original track that was put together in the studio. Okay. And um, in in the studio at the time that we was listening to the track, and it's an original track. It's gonna be my first uh release that I own the rights to the beat. Isn't, you know what isn't I'm that saying? an amazing feeling? Yeah, though? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm really trying That's to go your legit. Baby yeah, right yeah, there. yeah. So I haven't even released <laughs> it yet, but it's it's, it's real it's real dope. Have you been collabing with any other artists, whether they're in your area or outside your area, as uh, of lately? Oh, you mean like far as like people that's been in the industry or just, no, just any uh, collabs, whether it be one of your homies that does music or it could be a bigger feature. Um, I haven't did any recent collabs, but I do have a lot of collabs. Uh, you know, a lot of my music is yeah. featuring people. So that's why I'm trying to focus on putting my own music out now. Yeah. Um, shout out to my homie, you know what I'm saying? My homie, uh, Big Tuck, you know what I'm saying? Out there in Dallas. Okay. Doing this thing. You know, he, he a real OG legend out there in the city. Uh, not just Dallas, but Texas, you okay. know what I'm saying? So 
He been having one song in rotation for about 20 years now. Motherfuckers still listening to Man, that shit. Man, that's you what I'm talking saying? about. So, I love yeah, that. Yeah, so he was actually on my last single with my other partner, uh, King Grand. Shout out to him. Uh, Pipe Down. That's the one I actually I'm going to send to you. Okay. Motherfuckers been jamming that bitch since 2018, and it's still going. You know what I'm saying? That's so, dope. Yeah. Then I, I did some work with Ken Folk, Kia Shine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I, I got a track with Ken Folk. Uh, I don't know if you heard of Lucky Luciano. Out of Texas. He's from Houston. I would say that name yeah. sounds real familiar. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, he actually transitioned over to, like, gospel now. But, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, he was, like, one of the first, actually, people that was tapped in with the industry to actually give me a chance and, you know, with the music. You know, his artist Gold Toes seen me performing with, uh, I think, uh, Michael Watts was DJing that day. So, they, oh, was all, yeah, they was out there. Propane. Uh, Trinidad James was there. Devin the Dude. So, we get on the, we get on stage, perform. By the time I get to the to the... Bottom of the steps, go toes like, hey, come <laughs> here. We're going to highlight you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I've been tapped in for a minute with a lot of people. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm very grateful for that, you know, because it takes a lot for people to get to actually notice you and want to work with you. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, like this is that type of business that you have to stay on it consistently. Right, right. Sometimes life happens. Right, right. And we have to attend to that. Facts. You know, because family and stuff like that's always going to come first. We got to make facts, sure family's facts. good. Um, throughout your journey in music, you know, what's been like the biggest obstacle that you had to overcome? You know, whether it be business or maybe personal, Man. what's that big obstacle? Man, I remember when I first started, like, just my brand, Young Texas Music, I was working uh, working a job um, uh, at Coca-Cola, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I had just started my brand and investing, you know, I was investing my money, my own hard uh, working money, yeah. you know? And, you know, I was investing into people, artists, and I ended up losing my job. And oh, so man. I had just started, I had just started getting serious about it. I don't know. If they was picking at me because they seen, oh, well, he's not trying to make this his life. That's or, exactly you know what, what that yeah, happened to me. I felt, yeah, I felt that like that. happened yeah, to yeah. me. So now, you know, I, I started that. Some stuff happened at work. And then, you know, by the end of the time, uh, I ended up getting let go. They fired me. Yeah. On some on some BS. Yeah. But you me know, too. Long, yeah, long long same, yeah, yeah. Same long, thing. long story short, <laughs> I ain't worried about it. But it was a blessing in that because nah, for real. And uh in the midst of all that. I put together a toy drive, and I was actually tied in with the Boy Scouts of America in okay. Waco. So I, I ran all the, like, elementary and middle schools, and uh, we did a toy drive that year, that same year I got fired. And they put me on the news. I was in the newspaper. <laughs> I, everywhere. I was like, damn, I know them motherfuckers sick. They see my still, yeah, still, Slap yeah, them in yeah, their face. Still see my face everywhere. But, you know, it's all good. But it was a blessing. And I think that was probably, like, one of the hardest things I had to overcome in this last eight to eight to ten years of me just be on the ground seriously i'm a big believer in exactly what you said it was a blessing yeah because god had bigger plans right for you. right and i still think that you know, you know coca-cola was a a, a starting point yeah, to milestone help fund right, your right, career right. in the beginning facts but god said you know what you're bigger than that yeah, now yeah because that's, that's what i'm thinking i'm like i could have been still where i was right complacent. You know, yeah you know what i'm saying just like damn hey man i don't know this is what i want to do i just want to work all day now now i didn't been through several jobs and several situations it's like i look back now like damn i'm glad i went through that because it's put me further today it's made me a stronger individual made my mind stronger too so you yeah, know yeah absolutely Let's talk on the opposite side of that. What's been one of your biggest accolades so far, you know, within music, you know, whether it be a big performance you did, you talked about one you did, you know, yeah. um, what's, what's one of your big accolades? Uh, I, I would say just, just recently that the New York trip, that, that was a big, that was a big stepping stone for me to actually go from Texas to the other side of the map of United States. And to have them accept <laughs> you. Yeah, you yeah, know, like yeah. Cause I was, and I was out there by myself in the Bronx. Uh, I didn't wow. go to I didn't go to Brooklyn, but I was in Times Square. I had a couple motherfuckers looking at me and shit. But you know, like, oh, he ain't from yeah, here. Yeah, we can tell. But I had on Young Texas music yeah. the whole time. YTM, I know Texas. that's right. Yeah, and they was looking like, oh yeah, that nigga from Texas. I was <laughs> like, shit, hell yeah, I'm repping my shit too. I'm like, shit, but I was like, I don't know if I'm in the hood or not. But you know, everything was graffitied up and shit. So I'm I'm guessing like you know that shit was it was it was a whole different vibe. But I think that was probably like one of my biggest things to actually do and actually go out and do it by myself but just speaking on musically um working with big tuck that's a big thing yeah that was a big thing for me because like i say he's a legend in texas absolutely so you know working with big tuck and actually getting him to respect what i do you know what i'm saying because he actually been watching me for a minute uh actually getting him to respect what i do uh 
I was working with Ken Folk Kid Shine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because he was all on BT, Rap City the Base. I remember growing up seeing this, seeing him on TV. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So just being able to reach out to those type of people and and be able to connect with them. You know absolutely. what I'm saying? So even though the generation is different, I still got the connection with them. No, absolutely. And I think it's important. I like to bring that stuff up because sometimes we forget how much we've actually done. Right, right, right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Until we start talking Th- like that. Hey, yeah, I've really yeah, done a lot to yeah. get to where I'm at. Right, right. Where do you want to ultimately go? You, I know you got your own movement. Um, um, do you ever see yourself potentially partnering or signing with a label if it makes sense? Or do you want to yeah. stay independent? I mean, for right now, pretty much, I, as far as I see myself as independent, if I can make money that way, I yeah. will. But, uh, yeah, if it makes sense, yeah, I'll sign with a label because it's going to be more promotion, marketing for my for my business. Yeah. You know, in the end, it's going to come to a term to where that contract may end or it may get extended. No, nah, so, for real. So, you know, if I'm able to capitalize off of what I'm doing and make more money, yeah, I'm with it. So outside of music, what else do you enjoy doing? Let's take it to the personal side just yeah. a little bit because fans like to know this stuff. Yeah, right. What do you like do? What do you enjoy doing uh, when you're not doing music? Man, you know, I am. I'm still a full-time grinder. I, I work. You know, I enjoy making money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So everybody got to make money, pay bills, Facts. regardless of what you're doing. Nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of artists out here that be capping, man. Like, they ain't I got no they, job. I know they if, do. Yeah, if you ain't got no job or you hustling or whatever, sometimes you when you hustling, you ain't making no money. There's you nothing to be saying? ashamed yeah, right. of having a job. Right, right. So, <laughs> I mean, even the hustlers, they got a job. So they, 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 they know. You know right. what I'm saying? But... One thing I enjoy outside of the music is being a father. I do have two kids. Okay. You know, now, you know, I made that transition to actually kind of late because a lot of my friends in high school, they had kids when we was in high school. Yeah. So they kids right now, 12, 13, yeah. 11, you know, they looking at me like, damn, bro, what took you so long? <laughs> you know, my daughter, she finna turn four. My son turned three in like a couple more weeks. I mean, not three, but two. I'm sorry. Uh, he turned two in a couple more weeks. So it's like, damn, I see them and they be looking at me and I'm like, I'm looking at them like, damn, I got to make shit happen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So they've been a real inspiration for me and uh, motivation, you know, motivation for me. You know, now I'm getting older. I see my kids yeah. and I, I think back about all the stuff I went through when I was younger, teenage years, want to do my dream. You know, the dream I'm still trying to live Absolutely. right now. You know, I want to help them build their dream, actually build the dream for them that they want to do and put them in it. Yes. You know, and not have them work hard like I'm having to work hard to get where I'm trying to go. So, you know, I enjoy being a father. You know, that's my one of my biggest things. Yeah. That, and eating, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was skinny, but I got a gut now, you know what I'm saying? I'll be <laughs> chopping them steaks. It happens to all of us. Right, It right, happens. Right. We get older, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's like, what it is. Not that you old, yeah. but as we... As, <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> as we get older, like, metabolism starts slowing Man, down. Man, I'm telling you. Because I woke up one morning, I was like, God damn, bro, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> you got a dad body. Yeah, I know. That's what it is, right? That's what it is. Straight daddy body. Shit. It's okay the ladies like that, yeah, too. Yeah, they like the guts <laughs> <Fuck it. laughs> that's dope so yeah. definitely having children made a really positive impact yes, on your life yes ma'am because it becomes bigger than you when you have right. kids it do it do you're not just doing it for you you're anymore mother. right right yep. you're doing it for them right, right. are they big fans of your music i know they're oh, little man for sure my daughter man she uh i was actually i uh, did the super grim and freestyle and uh, i put her like i just did a little try to put on her for a little skit yeah or whatever. but she just she just said a little a little I love you, Daddy, on there, but she heard me saying that the ad libs. So yeah, she heard me saying the ad libs. Yes, sir. She run around. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm like, oh man. So now I guess they mom say that when they hear the super gremlin in the car, they think it's me. <laughs> oh, that yeah, is hilarious. Yeah, yeah, my son. He he he's starting to talk more now, but yeah, he be on it too. When they play uh, the music pipe down, they know it's me. Oh yeah, that's Daddy. That. That's, That's so that, that, dope. Yeah, yeah. And and that makes you want to keep going. That's motivation right, 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 right there. Right, 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 yeah. Every morning I'm trying to work towards something. You know, if I'm at work, I'm still trying to network. Hey, man, look, you know, this me. You know Absolutely. What I'm so every day I'm on the grind. You've invested a lot into your, your career. Fact. Out of everything that you've invested in personally, what would you say has been the most important? And I want to talk about this because yeah. there's some new artists out there who may not know, what do I need to be invested in? What was the most important thing or one of the most important Man, things that you've invested in? I think uh, with me just being an entrepreneur, you know, on the, on the business side, you know, of being an artist was getting the LLC. You know what I'm there saying? There you yeah, go. You're an first, actual yeah, business. Yeah. So was really you know, uh, imprinting my name somewhere, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, 
put my name on the map. I think yeah. that was I should have did that first. It's a lot of it's a lot of things I should have did first instead of doing it last. Because yeah. I feel like I should have did that like ten years ago. You know what I'm saying? Because I probably could have been in so much more money than just you know being a step. But it take it takes uh, a learning experience. I think that was one of the biggest things. Uh, investing into your own brand, you know, yeah. what I'm having you starting your own brand, clothing, you know, clothing and merch is probably one of the biggest things an artist can, uh, uh, you know, use as a, um, I guess you could say as a, that investment to come back, yeah, you know, because it's gonna be a lot of art. You're gonna pay for shows, you're gonna pay for promotion, right? It is what it is. At the end of the day, either you trying to get your shit out there, or you trying to stay in the same spot you at. You know what I'm saying? So if you ain't investing in your craft, like what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? So Making them investments, man. Uh, I would say the, the biggest thing would be merch. Yes, merch. absolutely. So do you, like, with your brand, do you have it available if people, <coughs> excuse me, want to purchase it um, from you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I really don't. I had a website, but it, it that that would, that, excuse me, that kind of went left. The website kind of went left um, with that. So I'm, I'm trying to work towards getting back that back up. But I'm an independent, you know, yeah. uh, you know person that I make my own clothes. Yeah. Uh, I make my own coats. Jackets, we, you know, whatever dope. you call it, pants. You know, I make everything. So you just hit me up yeah. when you want it. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. If you tapped in with it. You absolutely. Know? Yeah. You know, um, and that's the thing. You have to figure out ways to make yourself stand out. Facts. We're not trying to fit in. Facts. You know, so you got to brand yourself. You see, I got industries most wanted Man, everywhere. everywhere in here. Right, right. <laughs> Excuse me. Like, yeah. you have to absolutely figure that out and it sounds like you've done that thanks um with that being said you know what's the very next move for you we we winding up 2022 what man uh i got the i got the new video i'm finna drop the super grim and freestyle which was uh really gonna be a a new in, re uh you know me reintroducing myself to all my fans and yeah. stuff like that really i did that based off my kids uh Cause I, I I heard a lot of versions of the of the song, you know, freestyle. Yeah. I don't say cheese, but I haven't seen no artist do anything talking about being a dad. You know, I, I love see, that. Yeah. I love that you incorporate yeah. your kids into that, yeah. and that's why I had asked you earlier if they were fans of your yeah. music. You yeah. know, because you have to include them in what you got going on. Because those that's your legacy right there. Facts. You know, yeah. most definitely. Um, you at Carla with Carlos Brown. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? How yeah. did you guys link up? Social uh, media. Carlos Brown, I think at first my pops had says mentioned him, mentioned his name uh one time. I don't know how we got on the conversation. And then uh I think one day I must have been on Facebook or I may have been on Instagram. No, I was on Facebook because I ain't I think I I ain't started following him on Instagram until after uh um excuse me. After I did an interview with yeah. him. Like it was like a uh excuse me. It was like a um consultation okay he came, yeah he did this tour he did the yeah. back-to-back tour right that's when i had finally first met him but i was already following him for a minute and uh i think it's probably right right after he had got done with little baby when little baby started taking off yeah. you know what i'm saying uh after that um uh i linked up with him he came to dallas well he did the 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 the, the, the back-to-back tour he ended up coming through dallas yeah. through texas and I and I booked my slot. You know, I I felt like shit. Hey, I want to see what what he got to say. He worked with in, industry officials. You know what I'm saying? What what you got to say about my music? You know what I'm saying? So he came to Dallas. I did my slot. Uh, you know, he gave me a good review. He didn't say like my shit was trash or nothing like that. <laughs> you know, whatever, even he did. He just he gave me a couple pointers. You know, and um, actually on the song "Pipe Down," that's the one I did. You know, he gave me a couple pointers and shit and uh. You know, after that, you know, it's just been network, you know. That's what it's all about is connecting with people yeah. like him. I've known Carlos Brown for years. Right. He's a good dude. Yeah, man. Really well connected. Yeah. Does good business. Right. You know, I, it's always been love. You know, I've been at some of his events where he bring me in to judge right. and stuff right. like that. So definitely he's one of the people yeah. you got to connect with. Facts. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, facts. And I like the fact that you are out here doing these events. A lot of artists feel like that they can skip that step, nah. that they're bigger than doing showcases. Yeah. And I'm like, I started at open mics. You have to yeah, I started at open mics. It's like, if not for nothing, it builds your stage presence, Facts. which every artist yeah. needs. Yeah. 
it's great for networking. Facts. And it's a good place to test out a new record. Facts. You yeah, know, you get that get real time review. Exactly. How people really feel about it. You're you know gonna be I'm able saying? to tell yeah, if they yeah. if they in the audience and they just tuned out yeah, on yeah, their phones. Yeah, that yeah, means yeah. they ain't feeling it. Yeah, right, right, right. But if they like bobbing their yeah, head, bobbing and they it's, like, gonna, it's gonna be somebody out there bobbing <laughs> their shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was like in New York. It was like that. I think it was on account of you know I was the only motherfucker from Texas in the building, so they was like this. This motherfucker right here from Texas, country ass motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What the fuck you doing in New York? I had a few people ask me, what the fuck you doing up here? I'm like, man, shit, I'm out here working. What yeah, you know? like, yeah. what else yeah. am I supposed to be yeah, out here doing? Yeah, I'm working. So I'm working, but I mean, if you knew, like, I know you'd be trying to connect with me. Nah, for you know real. But some people but, be so close minded. Yeah, yeah. I, was trying to, I was trying to tell them, but they weren't trying to hear me. So I was like, you know, but I had a few people like they I say, gonna feel you yeah. soon yeah. enough yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, gonna yeah. see you on the billboards yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 facts. <laughs> they be like, Big oh facts. damn, I missed my yeah. opportunity. I'm telling you, hey man, because it be a lot of people like that. You will see, like the baby, the baby before the baby took off, he was at South by Southwest in a pamper, in a in a, in a pamper, in a pamper. You know what I'm saying? We was laughing at him. <laughs> We didn't know who he was, but like a couple months later, that motherfucker started taking off. That's see, if I would have known, I would have. Hey, bro, what's up? What you got going? Why you, you know out here the fucking pebble? You are absolutely <laughs> right, and that's honestly yeah. why I connect with so many independent artists right. when they're on the rise because I want to be a part of their journey. Right, right. To see what's really going on, and yeah. he was out there like I think because we was out there like three days. We was out there the whole weekend, Friday, Saturday, and so he was out there every day in a pamper. <laughs> All day. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy, yeah. man? Like, and then next thing you know, you see him getting posted everywhere. Dog, that's the dude that was out there yeah. in the pamper. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do a little <laughs> yeah. antics like yeah, that to right. get attention, yeah. but then it, it drives you to the next level yeah, because right. of social media now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People can go viral in a second. Facts. And that's when it, that, that's when the social media started taking off, you know yeah. what I'm saying, with the viral shit because that same year, I bumped it to Sean Cotton, you know what I'm saying? And Sean Cotton, say cheese was already popping. Right. But it didn't start taking off. Per me personally, I think until that year. That's when he started skyrocketing yeah, with that shit. You right. know what I'm saying? So, it definitely you know, went up. yeah. So, I mean, like, I'm grateful for that moment because I always can go back and be like, hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you remember this shit? It's like I seen you earlier. You remember this shit? That's right. You know right. what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it's pretty good. Like, when I was out in New York, uh, it's people, uh, dude, you heard of On the Radar? Uh, it's it's a, it's pretty pretty big okay. going on in New York right now. Oh, okay, dude's name is Gabe. Uh, he's starting at, uh, I guess, like a maybe like a podcast interview. Yeah. Thing. But he's interviewing like all the artists, hot artists, giving the come, getting getting them to come through in freestyle. Oh, and drop that's that dope. So yeah, you know, even though you know I may not been able to, hey man, let me get on your show. You know, he seen my face. He there seen you go. go. He remember that conversation. Damn, bro, I remember when you was at that showcase and look at you now. No, nah, you for come to my show. Real, you know what I'm saying? So absolutely. It, yeah, you gotta. You, you gotta, and I got yeah, the same yeah, mentality yeah, as that. Yeah. I'm with that because I'm like, I love interviewing artists and then seeing them blow up. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Because I've done that. I've interviewed right. so many artists and then I see them like when I moved to Take Atlanta. Yeah. One of my first interviews was with Money Bag Yo before real. like anybody really knew who he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just to look at him now. Right, right, right. And so many other artists. So it's like, yeah, I like to catch them when they're on the rise. Right, right. You know, because I don't want to, like, once they get to where he's at now or where they ain't look, gonna, look, yeah. yeah, it's like they, 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 have time to they ain't got down. time yeah, for yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. So um, for anybody that's checked in, you know, what what's the most recent single you can direct them to? Uh, yeah, I just I just remastered that pipe down. Like I say, man, that, that shit right there, I guess it go crazy. In Texas, uh, Texas especially, uh, it's a Texas <laughs> anthem. Motherfucker still jamming that shit. I posted it. <laughs> I reposted it. You know what I'm saying? I put it back online because I took all my music down. I just, I was just feeling like just not feeling myself at that moment. Understood. So, but I'm back in the game now yeah. trying to get my shit back on. So I'm going back to all my old roots. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, doing interviews and shit like that. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, the, the, the latest single is Pipe Down. It's on Spotify, Apple Music. Just go on there, pipe down, write a bank. So you can type my shit in and Google and check it out. It's just re it's just been remastered. You know what I'm saying? So, That's what I'm talking about. Stepping your game good. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had to I had to get it mastered to 2022 standards. No, nah, for <laughs> real, because it definitely yeah, changes. Yeah, yeah cause even the, the, my engineer, he was like, damn, I'm opening this shit. I don't even use it no more. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> I was like, see, yeah, yeah. So And there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Keeping right. it up to date. Facts, facts. With that current sound mm -hmm. that people want to yeah. hear. Because I like I say, man, you know, every, every time I post that song, I look, went and looked back like last week. Man, that, that song had like over a thousand plays on everything it was on. That's amazing. Yeah, so it, even in like two weeks of me posting it a uh, couple, like last month, um, nobody was promoting it, nobody was sharing it but me. And like, 
uh, I think like two weeks, I had like fucking uh, 600 or 700 plays on it. That's two amazing. Weeks. And, yeah. that's song, and that song is four years old. That is and amazing. And they still listening to that's it. That's so dope. Yeah. That yeah. is dope, man. That makes you feel good. That lets you know you're, you're doing the right thing. Right, 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 right. And you got to keep doing what you're doing. Facts. Big facts. Definitely. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. So before we get up out of here, three things we got to do. One, tell them where they can follow you on your social. Oh, yeah, man. Like I said at the beginning of the interview, you can find me on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, Young Texas Music That's my company My brand And the music is spelled With a U-M-U-Z-I-K Young Texas Music uh, Raider Banks R-A-I Excuse me R-A-D-A I'm fucking up my own name <laughs> <laughs> R-A-I-D-A B-A-N-K-Z You can find me on anything You know what I'm saying The platform You type it in Man my shit exclusive You motherfuckers can't even say that shit When I go to the show But it <laughs> is what right. it is yeah, got She it got right. it right Give yeah, big props Now I need, I, need, I need to buy something To eat or something <laughs> Yeah but you tap in with me man I make clothes All that shit You know what I'm saying uh, I make clothes you know, I, I I fuck with the promotion and marketing, uh, you know, logo concepts, all that. Yeah. So tap in with me. Straight like that. Um, I know there's a lot of people out here showing you love. Who do you want to pay homage to? Give them their flowers. Who do you want to shout out to? Hey, man, I want to, like I said before, man, I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Big Tuck. Hey, man, shout out to Kenfo Kid, Sean. He's been showing love, too. You know, we had a we had a good conversation when he came down to Dallas the last time I seen him and shit. Uh, you know, shout out to all my, my, my parents, uh, you know, they, they they do what they can when they can, you know, yeah. even if it's keeping my kids or, you know, checking on my kids. So I appreciate them. Facts. And then my whole family, you know what I'm saying? Even though they ain't here right now, I know they're here in spirit. So, that's right. you know, hey, anybody that's showing me love, shout out to y'all, man. 100. Last but not least, we are live. I'm sorry, my allergies are on 100 hey, man, today. That my, weather ch- changing, man. It, this, this time every year it does yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, So I apologize. It's um, all good. Last but not least, we live on the Industry's Most Wanted podcast. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Big industry's most wanted. Yeah. wanted. Go ahead and let everybody know what makes Red Banks the industry's most wanted. Hey, man, you know, I'm on the grind. You know what I'm saying? This shit can't be faded. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I'm here by myself. I'm still working. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no excuse. Like I told you uh, when I booked the flight, I, I I was supposed to show up later, but I had to show at five, so I want to change my flight. That's what you I'm know talking what I'm saying? about. So, so I can make the interview and the fucking show. So, That's that you know grind. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm in grind mode right now. It's going to be hard to turn me down. You know what I'm saying? We're going to drip on them every time. <laughs> Straight big like facts. that. Big facts. Big, yeah. we go, we, hey, big rate of banks. Yeah, yeah. That's the I'm new there. name. Hey, I've been thinking about changing my shit, too, while you playing. Yeah. 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 Put, yeah. put big in there somewhere because yeah, you doing it big. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't that big, but yeah. You know, I was short right of bangs with shit. It's all good, it's though. It's all good, yeah. We bigging you up. Yeah, facts. Appreciate, appreciate you, appreciate bro. You. Yeah, facts, facts. Facts. Well, <laughs> definitely. Right. We up out of here, y'all. Yes, sir. <laughs>